interaction. So you got Pew Pew Beyond Door. Or we could go with Interact. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Puzzling indeed. There you go. There you go. See, I'm smart. So, who's going pew pew beyond the door, huh? Perfect encountering an enemy. Oh, okay. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Oi, not nice to attack a person in a wheelchair, is it? Oh, he's got a hell of a gun on him. Come on, some of this. Come on, then. Fuck you. Why? You can make something like that. Reloading. Why aren't you shooting? Oh, fuck. Fuck you, then. Oh, wait a minute. Right, before anything goes, I'm going to... Don't. The last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Before I talk to the wheeled one, I like to collect my bits first. Because I don't want these going missing. Plus, they have some good stuff. Nope, I'm not scrapping that. Bear me two ticks. So we can climb this rope after when we talk to the wheeled one. Oh, the phone interrupt time. Nice. Now, where did you go? Wait, what's that? No, just you, huh? Let's close this door. <clears throat> right, buddy. New friend and an... Oh, oh new, a new friend, an old friend. So, what's your situation, buddy? He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Hey, who are you, bud? He presents himself as out of date. Out of he tight. knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Follow me, Monk Kofa. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Hmm. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. How can I not remember? I remember the tree. It grew right outside my house. It was big. That massive, you know. Also, I like, to, uh, I like the fact that they actually um, had a done the stories and such like that. And they actually made the stories... Like the characters telling the stories like in a different language, in a different tone, and obviously you've got the narrator translating it and such. I think that's really nicely done. 
But as for the um, guy being out of date, I think that's a bit harsh. It's like, no, nah, you're not out of date. It doesn't matter how old you are, you're never out of date. Well, I was only a little spud. But a luscious, nice field. It's got kind of like a Japanese style to it. I do like that. Pretty cool. Best before. <laughs> yeah, of course. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. I don't think she cares. I hope I told her. Hmm. I don't think she cares. Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Mooma's love. Hello there. He understands why you came all the way out here to see them. The potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Well, I'm going to go to Dark Root and say I don't believe in magic. Magic? He claims it's just the force of life, the existence of energy, powering and connecting all things living, like the Nono. <laughs> the Mono prefer to hide in glitter grass. Sounds like he's singing. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Rough it. Okay. So they say rough it. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of key, the primal energy. Yeah, that's not a problem. Being general is quite easy for me. Right, so I've got to catch the bloody thing, eh? You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Hmm. Right, first and first, I need to check if I'm recording or not, because hey, I am. So, I, ignore me. Whoops, I've done it again. So, what am I supposed to do? Oh, right. Wow, I can actually do some <laughs> hand to hand combat. Now, the way they say about looking after the tree of life here, it reminds me of um, when they say about when when you. It reminds me of um, I think it was a Karate Kid movie or something. I can't remember what it was, but they had to look after this plant or tree and <coughs> make sure it grew to its full and it meant something. I, I can't remember exactly uh, one hundred percent, but yeah, it just basically meant something. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes... Something known in the um, no Japanese culture, and I think maybe in the Chinese culture as well. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. That's what I think, anyway. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. Well, I guess it falls down to me, buddy boy. He says you better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. 
Ah. Uh, whoops. That's not true. She's the reason there's still unity, and the only one strong enough to keep the six Wang Fu disciples disciplined. I thought I'd take that road to take the dart off. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. The what? He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. Hmm, end of days or world ears? Let's ask about the world ears. I'm curious. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. Typical, it would be there. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Isn't that the dead zone? Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the east route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Hmm. Rodden it. Abominable. <laughs> okay. I like it. All right, let's open this. You're um, getting the hang of it. Open this door. Let's see. Up the rope I go, the and way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Easy enough. Let's climb, climb, climb. Shouldn't take so long. But yeah, doesn't matter what you ask; it doesn't uh, make any difference to any of the roofs. So I thought I'd try that. No, oh, the old power lines, eh? I've never seen those. Know that the tree of life is dying. Back when I was its young. Days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. But now I don't see them so much now. Because <laughs> I think they took the old power lines down back at my end. And now, we are right into the game. Welcome to Biomutant. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. What's that supposed to mean, cartographically Let's challenged? See. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can fast travel. Nice! And you can place a waypoint to... Where? Well, don't outpost. Oh, Let's see what else is along here. Let's place a waypoint. This should be interesting. So is this little bug on my shoulder some sort of 
robot thing. Holy shit, that's a Cerberus thing. You're huge. That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. A hat trick. <laughs> I hope that's not a pun to a weapon, buddy. Who in the right minds would actually just dump a load of toxins in the water like that? Crazy humans, that's what. Do I look up here? Then again, should I just follow the waypoint? Will curiosity get the better of me? Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Survivor. So he's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Shit. Your inner balance is too harsh, that complete wholeness that flows through the, all things at times. You'll be able to manifest your inner balance through these and dialogue choices. For those who always act in the same manner or wholelessness of the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take, the balance of your actions create... Oh, I get it now. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Interaction with captives will... Oh, okay. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Oh, I'm supposed to be taking a dark route, but... Yeah, I can't follow it through because I'll be missing out on something. All right, let's help him. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. I will take the dark path when I play this again. That's a spark of light in you. That's right. Smack that spark out before it starts. You don't have to be so harsh. It's such a little spark. Take it out now while it's small. Hmm. There's always another spark. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I do feel sorry for her. I will play this again and uh, see what happens if I leave him to his fate and that. So yeah, there'll be two rounds of this game. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. I do one more. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. <laughs> The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. No, I like that. Why? Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Jeez, I had to make choices. Well, it's just as well we'll be playing this the again after the, when I complete it. To stop the world eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One hmm. thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. So we go to the Myriad's fortress by the looks of it. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. That they seems like the dark path. Cleansing is necessary to restore the world, and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Interesting. Kim Horba, Bekoko. If I'd look. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. Sorry about the noise of my mic there. He believes the tribe Sifu's, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. 
Hmm. Quest tracking, you can go on the da 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 So you got Ah uh, right. Okay. So can I place a ready point to here? Whoops. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? Tunnel or motor bridge, huh? So this one is Right, let's take uh, Okay, shall we take the high road? Or the low road? Oh, I've got to feel sorry for these um, so-and-sos. Uh, okay, I say let's take the high road. It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> <laughs> you are so good, buddy boy. If I did that, though, somebody would tell me to shoot myself. Oh, trouble, huh? Well, those other ones sound really aggressive, especially when they're like growling like so. Right. Who else wants some? What about you? Do you want some of this? Nay? Well, oh, glad to have helped. I guess it will let me in. Without any worries. They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. Restroyed? Is that the opposite of destroyed? Or absent? Or is that the other term for destroying something that's already destroyed? Crikey! Heard of doing trench runs, but damn. Life is all about paths, they say. Ah, this interacts. Hello. Wow. No, let's not scrap it. I like to collect my hats. So, let's go and have a little look in my hat selection. Oh, first thing first, character. Vanity, strength, vanity, strength. What did I went for last time? I went for vanity, didn't I? No, I went for strength. Mm -hmm. Did I win for vanity last time? Can't remember. Let's go for agility. And let's go for my next one is. Yes, I. Yes, can I just. Can I not. Upgrade points? Nothing? Close combat, range combat. Let's go with. Wait, do I have. Jewel guns, guns, jewel guns. Guns, jewel skill, equip two different one handed guns. Ah! Yes! I like a bit of jewel wield. Guns. Because why not? Oh, I've not gone through one bloody thing. Wong Fu. Perks, Dead Eye, General. Right, I need to actually get those perks up. Character, Buyer Points, or. Oh, my light is more forward, where dark is. Oh, right, now I'll get you. Mutations, Biogenetics, Psi Powers, Upgrade Resistance. Hmm. Biogenetics. Let's have a little look. See, moth mouth. Okay, let's try with the um, other one. Let's go back. 
upgrade resistance. Right, you see how that works. And gear. Let's see about my hat. jump cap. Well, it doesn't give me much armor, but it looks pretty groovy on me. But I'll keep with this one. Oh, it gives me more health. Uh, this one, this energy. Hmm, eeny meeny money mayhem. Hmm. Oh, it gives me a little bit of resistance on that side of things. Well, I'll go with this hat. No, it doesn't suit me actually. I'll keep with that. Don't mind me. Right, let's go, go, go. I'm going to have a look a bit more around at the other things, this um, trench then. There might be some other goodies. Interesting. Me love me some goodies. That leads to the other. Come on. Where are you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Big mistake. Especially on your part. The other one can't be dead. It's dead. Just checking the bodies. You never know what could be good and what not. Ah, an old little... Yeah, let's have a look at you. What's in here? Oh, nice. I keep finding hats. Hmm, common. Very nice. I like me some goodies. What's in here? Come on, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, what are you? Pipe wraps here. Yeah? Hmm, nice. So this will lead me to that. Let's have a look more in the trenches anyway, because I need to actually... Actually, is there anything down here? I love the fact he runs on fours as well. Nice. Nah, let's just go and check in the trenches. Into the trench. Now, what have we got here? That looks like a fortress. Oh, that's the place I'll probably need to go. Right, first and first, let's have a look what's about. Been in there, and I? No, I haven't. See, this is what happens when you look. You find all sorts of dopey, huh? Interesting. I'm a collector of all sorts. Ooh, look at that pretty colours. Hmm. Let's have a look for more. Hmm. Down here? I think this is the path I came by. This way. No. Nope. Yep. Nope. Let's have a look a bit more around here. Don't want to miss anything important. Right, I'll go to that in a bit. Been in there. Da 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 Help these fellow chaps out. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. That's their right. friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Well, I Let's welcome see. it. We could easily go to that one if we want to, but I'm going to go for this path for the time being. Alright, let's have a look. Hey there, fellow. 
Ancients. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Well, advise your Sifu. I am here. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, so I apologise. Hopes you have patience. The Sifu can't stop himself from talking sometimes. Let's hope this isn't one of those days. Just let me in, and I'll show you what I'm made of. Ooh. A very imperialistic light look. Alright, let's see what you got to say, big guy. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. Peaceful power! Peaceful power! The Come on, Kane worship shows. <laughs> Worshippers, I mean. Destroy the tree of life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. So they're helping the world eaters. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. Oh, I did got the it right. The news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. Hmm, cold-blooded. He's referring to your rampage through Bunker 101. It seems you don't mind a bit of blood on your hands. That's something you have in common. Well, there's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Disciples? There were six of them. But the unity fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values. And when the blight started, the animosity escalated to war. Wait, when they say Lupa Lupin, did it mean as in the Wolf Goddess? Unity between the tribes. Mm. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says there is some darkness in the best of us, even you, and suggests you embrace that side of you and help them vanquish the tribes and let the world eaters destroy the tree of life. Sign me up. <laughs> I'll take the dart sure off. Do that, but it seems your mind took control of that big heart of yours. That's a sign of strength. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. Say no more. Consider it done. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim here. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Ah, tribal wars, huh? Well, we can take them out. Should be fun. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Oh, I will defeat Even this. if you see the world differently, you must hit them as soon and as hard as you can. The outcome of this war is up to you. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. Interesting. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. 
War doesn't wait. Wait, my old village? I guess I better take that back. 